Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd, and today I bring you episode zero of Endless Sh Legend, our Snickerdoodle Imperium. Now, a couple things about this. Um, I I love 4X games. I love them. Um, I don't really play them a lot, though. Uh, I like the micromanagement of it, however. Now, Endless Legend, if you haven't played it, uh, is set in the Endless Space Universe. It's actually set right after the Dust Wars, uh, or I guess sometime after the Dust Wars, but before Endless Space uh, actually occurs. Um, this is a departure for the channel, I guess if you want to call it that, um, because it's not grand strategy, it's, it's more RTS. So, actually it's 4X, it's not even RTS. So, this is Endless Legend, Snickerdoodle Imperium. Why did I call it Snickerdoodle Imperium? Um, I don't know. I want this to be more of a fun playthrough. I'm going to do this to see what kind of the views are. Uh, I'm going to post it up on, on Reddit, see what they say. Uh, the, the Endless Legend subreddit is a little bit intimidating. So, uh, but I'm going to do it there. How, you know, what the hell? What can I lose posting it up on there? So if you're here from Reddit, thank you for coming. Just bear with me here in the episode zero. This is basically where I'm just going to set up everything. And, um, and then we'll go from there. So, uh, this is just vanilla Endless Legend. It, um, it does have the Mazare, uh, in it, which is a little bit different of the, of one of the, the vaulters there. And, uh, but I don't have any of the other expansions on it. It's just not within my budget right now. Plus, I don't think you really need it to uh, to enjoy Endless Legend. So, let's start a new game. Now, this is sort of like Civilization, but it is not Civilization. So, don't think don't think that uh, that it's going to be a one-to-one -one because it's not a one-to-one. -one. All right, so now first we'll set this up here. I'm actually going to do six on normal. Excuse me. So the world map size will make it normal, obviously. Two continents? Sure, we'll leave it as two continents. Regular, temperate, topography, yeah, everything. You know, I'm not going to go crazy here, folks. All right, so what do I want to become? All right, so we're going to select an empire here. Uh, what I have chosen is Mazari. As I said, they're just, uh, it's just a little bit modded uh, version of the Vaulters. And when you play the Mazari in the single player, as I would do if I were coming here, it actually gives you the Vaulter storyline. So we just play as the Vaulters. But the Mazari were a little add-on. Oh, you got Dungeon of the Endless. Good job. All right, so all of these factions are on the planet of Auriga. And Auriga is going through a lot of uh, turmoil, both politically and um, environmentally. So uh, that's where we start here. We have the the Wild Walkers. Uh, each one of these has different traits on them. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but they, they allow you to interact with the world differently. The Broken Lords, who are basically just beings of energy and uh, of dust, really. And, um, and so dust is, is nanobots that were created by uh, the Endless and eventually became so common throughout the universe they started to be using just not even not only for currency but also for healing properties and manufacturing and even yes weapons so uh, that's dust you have the vaulters that are actually descended from um, people that were um, actually endless I would say yeah descended from endless that uh, that were cr uh, part of a crash ship uh, during one of the battles above Auriga during the Dust Wars. So they don't have any recollection of them being in space from there, what they would c consider ancient history, but that's where they're from. That's the whole point of Dungeon of Endless is, um, Dungeon of the Endless is that uh, you are part of the Mazari, and uh, that's who you are from. Necrophages, necrophages uh, they have a disease, clearly, as you can see, a plague. They are hive people, uh, and they survive by ingesting or converting others as they infect them with their plague. So, there's your necrophage. Ardent mages, just the, the mage class here. So, uh, primary uh, sorcerers, 
And uh, they, all of their magic comes from pain and anger, kind of like the Sith, but uh, definitely sexier. Roving clans, uh, your typical typical nomads. The Draken, uh, ancient and venerable race, the scholars of the Draken Prize, law, history, and wisdom above all things. Blah, 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 blah. Um, knowledge of the starting positions of every player. So they are, they are one of the most ancient races of Auriga. And then you have the cultists. And the cultists are basically what, what they are. So as you can read here at the top, this is a strange cult is led by two creations that are remnants of the Endless. The queen, who is imprisoned within her indestructible throne, and the unspoken, which is a wandering and perhaps insane being of enormous power. So they've been left alone on the planet for millennia. So it's been that long since the Dust Wars. So if you want to get time, if I want to get my timeline correct and you want to understand what we're doing here. So they've turned against their creators and sworn to destroy every trace of their existence. So basically they don't realize that they're endless anymore. They've become cultists. They are robots, as you can see from, from the crazy character, you know, robot movements here. They are endless that have... Uh, virtualize themselves. They they put their consciousness into um, other beings, and so that's what we're dealing with here. So I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the dragon. Yeah. Let's go with the Draken playthrough. So we start off with the Drakenling. Uh, it doesn't fly. And the Wyvern. Wyvern? Yeah, Wyvern. So, that's what we're going to start as. Alright. So we are going to set up, and I'm going to give you just a little bit overview of... Um, the GUI that we have in front of us and, and what it does and so we'll just talk about how to play it. I am, as I said, I'm not an expert at this and so you're gonna have to bear with me on it. I might make a lot of mistakes but that's what the comments are for. So feel free to leave your thoughts about it. Uh, let me know if you also play the Endless, uh, any of the Endless games, Endless Space or Endless Le Legend and uh, uh, just let me know how I'm doing, what you think about it. I still like Ariga. And I will still call it that because I'm horrible at names. All right. So, so we know where everyone starts. So let's break out here. Um, we actually know where all of the minor factions start, too. So what do we have here? Who's this? Fedoro, this is... Is another Draken? Are you kidding me? That's annoying. Looks like that's minor factions up here. Mazari? And... Oh, I came all the way across. Wait, is that me? That's me. No, that's not me. This is me. I'm an I'm a moron. Sorry, guys. So he's out here. 
There's the Mazari. And... No, this is me, right? Alright, so there is another one. Well, I'm, I'm not completely insane. Alright, so basically there's that. Okay, so in Endless Legend, uh, they we have cities. That's why we have to find we have to found this here soon. I'll, and I'll pick to choose a spot uh, before we end it. And um, so you have a you have a city, but it already comes preset with uh, a perimeter on it. And these are actually what you see here. These are regions. So once I settle in Mandara. And I'll probably rename it something because remember this is the Snickerdoodle Empire, Imperium. Um, once I settle it, it kind of I have I kind of have control of it. Um, from what I read and understand is that uh, another another faction can't come and settle within that region if you've already settled it with a city. And we'll see if that's true or not. That's how I understood it. Uh, but also you can grow your city pretty big, pretty quickly. Um, through through some of the technologies that we have. Uh, what we also have, we have an empire screen where we can manage it. This is uh, handling with our minor factions. Those would be like here. Uh, this village is a village of uh, the Goron. And uh, the Goron are a minor faction. So I can, um, if I do a quest for them, which is also something different than civilization, if I do a quest for them, and I meet the meet the criteria, they will then be friendly with me. Eventually, being friendly enough, and if I have enough influence, they can then be assimilated into my faction, and so I grow, and then I could use their military units. So, it's the Empire screen. Here's all the Empire bonuses we have as the Draken. Um, right there. Any luxury resources or any strategic resources we have, and then an empire plan. An empire plan is where you get to move uh, things accordingly, or I can't move it now, but but it gives bonuses to uh, economy, the empire, science, or military. <clears throat> City list, which we don't have. Here's the research screen. We're actually, uh, we can queue up a lot of this stuff now. I don't really want to queue this up. I'm going to click off of it with that, that. Uh, I'm actually going to set a lot of these. Yeah, I need to be able to search. And we already have that. I want that for to get heroes. And there we go. So you can just, we can just queue a lot of these up. And once you get nine... You can then you then get um, graduate up to the next era. So I already have two, so I'm actually going to over over technology myself in here, and then every nine you move into a new era of technology, and it goes on and on and on. So that is the tech trees there. Quest screen, which we'll go in when we have quests. Here are our heroes. Heroes are always with us. They can be hurt in battle, uh, but they can't die in battle. But you could also make them governors of your cities to improve the cities instead of just improving your military units. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> I apologize for my throat. been talking for a while. Armies list. This is also where we can edit our armies and uh, include new armor and make them better. And faster, what does he has now? He has a sword. So it just gives different effects on it. I don't want him to have spears. This is the... Yeah, this is the uh, the Drakling. And some feet. Some shoes. Now, uh, what do we have here? Improved movement. Sharp sense. We don't really need that. Improved movement would be good, though. All right, so this increased our production cost, yes, but uh, but we do have the ability to do that. And then we could also create our own and uh, outfit them as we see fit. So we'll get into that more when we need that. Uh, basically, what I think the, um, the developers 
uh, at Amplitude did was basically just say, well, we're used to creating ship variants, so let's just change ship variants into uh, unit variants, and that's what we have. So here's everyone that's here. Okay, so we have Necrophages, Volters, and Mazari, or Mazari, Windwalkers, and another Draken Empire out there. But we as the Snickerdoodles will not fail. We will lead the Snickerdoodle Imperium to great heights. Well, let's go ahead and settle our city. Uh, what we can do here is that we're going to move it around. We're going to see what can we get the best output factors from. Now, we have this huge hill right here, which I don't really like. And I'm talking more than I'm reading, so that's not good either. So I might have to be quiet here as I read. I like this three... Uh, the three food is not good. Five... Uh, that seven dust is very good. And then see, and we get three influence. Can't build it right on it. I'm going to have to end this as there's a thunderstorm approaching. Yeah, I see what. See, and only that's only three as well. Well, that's only three. We would, let's look at these two. Well, this is definitely the best one, then. If we we're only going to get three, then we get three. I can assign some workers to it. Now, Mandera, that sounds all nice and well. No. Mandalehu. Mandala? Yeah, Mandala. Mandalu. We could go even more cutesy. Fluffer puffers. Snuffer bumps. I guess I think you catch my drift, drift of how we're naming this. I'm not going to go strict. Usually when I play fantasy games, it's like, oh, yeah. Got to get into it. Got to understand all of the, the lore and and got to make sure the names fit. Now, who cares? This is the Snickerdoodle Imperium. We'll do what we want. <clears throat> all right, we're going to start this queue. And basically just leave it as that. Um, you know, I guess he is more... We'll set him as the governor for it. I guess he's not really a military type. But uh, that's it. This is... Uh, we have established... You see how far out my the region is now? Do -do -do. So it's... You know, people just can't come in. Especially because the necrophages are right here. So we're going to have to take them out. Oh no, that's that's the Windwalkers. Okay, well, we're right up against them, so we're going to have to deal with them fairly certain. But that's the end of Episode 0. I hope everyone likes it. If you do want to see this, feel free to mash that like button. Let's me know that the series is worth pursuing. I'm, you know, at least I'm going to do four or five of these, but, uh, I mean, I don't want to show you guys something that you don't really want to see. Um, but like I said, I'm at least going to do four or five. Uh, let me know in the comments below what I should be looking forward to. Um, so, like it if you like this series. Feel free to share this around the internet if you think it's worth sharing. Comment if you want to comment. And if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Feel free to click on that red subscribe button. Let's me know that I'm doing a great job. And you want to see more strategy games from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Till next time, everyone. Good night and good luck.